It started out like any routine hunting trip, perfect timing and even better weather. Chad Abair was confident that he and two of his sons would be successful during Sunday's hunting trip near their home in Beauregard Parish. What he didn't know was the fight for his life he would have to put up for the catch. He just charges me and blows and grunts and snorts and just just charges me straight for me. That was after his 13-year-old son Gavin shot the deer and after they went to track their kill. Searching for the wounded buck, Chad stumbled into a briar patch where he obviously wasn't alone. Not far, uh, 20 yards from where he had shot it, uh, I heard a big commotion and I turned and looked and I seen a, a deer get up and all I could see was a big set of horns on his head. After being attacked and stuck behind the knee, Chad says he held on for dear life, trying to hold the deer down while his sons fought the deer off of him. I was nervous to cut him, and Gavin took the knife and started stabbing him. So I went over there and said, Dawson, let me see the knife. So I took the knife from him, cut a big old hole in his neck, trying to get him to stop and get off. The deer ran about 10 feet before collapsing and dying, but Chad says the images of the attack are still frozen in his mind, like a deer stuck in headlights. That saying came true, vice versa, you know, when I, when I seen him 12 feet from me, it was just, you know, the, no doubt deer in the headlight. Look. And the seasoned hunter says it's impossible to go through something like that without learning some pretty valuable lessons. If at all possible, don't ever track a deer by yourself. You know, always wait and call for help. Call for somebody to track. Just perfect example. I'll never track a deer by myself again. At your service in Borgard Parish, Jaron Jordan, KPLC 7 News.